Peggy 18. Welcome to TGS 2024 Capcom Online Program. Today's program will deliver news on Monster Hunter Wilds and other new titles. First, let's start with the latest info on our fighting games. The fight rages on in Street Fighter VI, which has entered its second year and is more exciting than ever. As the second character to be added in Year 2, Terry, from SNK's popular fighting game series Fatal Fury, finally joins the fight. Terry, okay. Terry is well-rounded with useful rushing attacks and projectiles that can be used to adapt to many situations. Additionally, Mai joins the fight in early 2025 and Elena in spring of 2025. Expect more info at a later date. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 includes eight popular titles, including games from the Capcom vs. SNK series. Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001, Power Stone, and more return in a collection of eight games that rocked arcades of their time. Online play has been added to all included titles, allowing you to challenge opponents from around the world. The new gallery mode lets you browse illustrations and design documents created during development, many of which have never been seen before. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 is planned for release in 2025. Next up, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. Seven retro Marvel titles from arcades in the 90s are being revived on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Play both co-op and competitively, just like back in the arcade. Don't worry if it's your first time. Use difficulty settings and one-button specials to ease your transition into the game. All included titles have been recreated exactly as they were in arcades. The digital version is available now, and the physical version will release on November 22nd. Don't miss this next title! More than a remaster, a deluxe remaster! The Origin of Zombie Paradise action returns with remastered graphics on the latest platforms. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster is available now. In addition to the main game, several downloadable contents are also available to purchase. The digital version is available now, and the physical version will release on November 8th. Find a way to survive through 72 hours of hell. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection is out now. Fans of the beloved Ace Attorney series should have no objection to two Ace Attorney Investigation titles starring Miles Edgeworth returning in full HD. Experience the definitive versions of each of these games with additional features and special contents. Now it's time for some news on the Monster Hunter series. First up is this title. Thank you to all the hunters around the world for helping Monster Hunter Now achieve 15 million downloads. Here's the latest info on Monster Hunter Now. First, we have an update on Season 3, which started in September. 
a year after Monster Hunter Now launched, we're jumping into Season 3, which adds Magnamalo, Rajong, and Aknasam. You can now also cook well-done steak in Monster Hunter Now. Next up, info on the next physical event. For two days from October 12th to the 13th, Nergigante will appear in Shibuya, Japan for the first time. Seek out traces of Nergigante and track it down. Even outside of Shibuya, you'll have a chance to challenge Nergigante. An in-game event is planned at a later date. During the event, Gold Rathian and Silver Rathalos will also appear. For the latest info on Monster Hunter Now, please visit the official website. Regular content updates will continue to add new monsters and elements to the game. The next major update is planned for December. Please continue to enjoy Monster Hunter Now! Next, we have some news on Monster Hunter Wilds. Hello everyone! I am Ryozo Tsuchimoto, producer of Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds, which we previously revealed is coming out in 2025, now has a release date. As announced, Monster Hunter Wilds launches on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam simultaneously around the world on February 28, 2025. This is the main visual for Monster Hunter Wilds. Please look forward to the ultimate monster hunting experience with seamless immersion. In today's Capcom Online program, while looking back at the information regarding Monster Hunter Wilds that has been released up until now, we'll also show you the trailer that has just been released. Please take a look. Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, we will journey to the Forbidden Lands, uncharted territory that the Guild has begun investigating. The Forbidden Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago, when a boy named Nata was found there and taken into Guild protection. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster, and the Guild has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Our objectives will be to investigate the monster, known as the White Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Oh, who am I, you ask? My name is Alma, and I'll be your guide on this journey. Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Let's go! Each expedition unit consists of a hunter, handler, smithy, and palico. And it'll be all hands and paws on deck with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, you're sanctioned to bear weapons and hunt monsters. And as your handler, it's my responsibility to manage your quests Authorize hunts and ensure that you have all the information you need. Gemma, our smithy, will take monster materials you provide and forge equipment for you. Perfection! And your palico is your trusty companion, there to lend support whenever needed. We'll take it from here! I mentioned there's more than one unit. We belong to Avis Unit. And we'll have the honor of teaming up with the other units, like Astrum Unit, to see our mission through. The Guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Our initial foothold into the Forbidden Lands will be the Windward Plains. Due to its ever-changing weather, the plains will put both the wealth and the wrath of nature on full display. During the fallow, 
Ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food, and a phenomenon known as the Sand Tide conjures thunder and lightning. After the storm comes the plenty, a time of abundant life and fertility. With every shift in the environment, the creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. To succeed in our expedition, we'll have to be every bit as observant, versatile, and resourceful. A rich, diverse ecosystem has arisen from the Windward Plains' unique climate. The Doshagama, for example, form packs centered around an alpha. Taking on multiple large monsters at once is a recipe for disaster. In order to face the alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. In sandy areas, you'll encounter Balahara. Their flexible bodies allow them to maneuver freely in and out of the sand. They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Unfortunate not just for hunters, but for any large monsters that get dragged into them. You may also encounter Chattacabra, toad-like monsters that favor the more rocky areas of the plains. These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forelegs and then fortify them with minerals. The Chattacabra's sizable tongue, while crucial to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. Nature has one rule. You're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters too, as they battle for supremacy. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain, Ray Dao. Often spotted during the onset of the Sand Tide, Ray Dao has adapted to the relentless lightning storms and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks to any that threaten its territory. If you are called upon to face it, Hunter, I ask that you take extreme precaution. While out on hunts, you might spot some small creatures at your feet, or perched in the trees. All of the endemic life you see has evolved to survive in this harsh environment. I cannot help but to be amazed by these creatures, the sheer will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Let's talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything, whether it's crafting weapons and armor or resupplying provisions. One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in the field. Pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. A place to change your equipment. And an item restocking point. See how useful they are? Of course, if a monster finds one of them, it might not last very long. We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Our interactions with this new culture could be what sustains us on our quest. An incredible adventure awaits, with new monsters, new friendships, and awe-inspiring vistas. forgot. Have you decided on a weapon yet? Every hunter's journey begins with weapon selection. Would you rather get in close and unleash with all your might? Keep your distance and dish out a relentless assault. 
deliver stinging blows as you stand your ground? Or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks? Fourteen weapon types are available, and at least one of them is the perfect fit for you. If you're not sure what to pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. If mobility is your first priority, then this weapon might be a good match. Hunters can't just rely on weapons. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and barrel bombs. Not to mention any endemic life and geographical features that you come across. It's up to you to read the situation and use all you've got to take down your target. One thing's for sure, hunting is hungry work. With your portable barbecue grill, you'll be able to prepare meals on the go. And yes, that includes meat. So tasty! Your palico is a feline companion that provides various types of support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters, or healing you when you've taken a beating. Heels inbound! The two of you make a pretty good team. You can always trust me to have your back. Oh, that reminds me. Be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. It will start shaking to warn against any potentially life-threatening attacks. There's no better way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Whether it's a target you're trying to reach, or just a point on the map, your sacred will follow the scent and take you there. Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. And if you find yourself in a tight situation, you can call your sacred, and it will swiftly take you out of harm's way. Whether you're hunting or just exploring, that extra mobility will prove rather useful. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to assist with the hunt. In multiplayer, You'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. If you are unable to fill the hunting party, or if you'd prefer to play offline, then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. Hunt monsters and harvest materials from them. Use those materials to upgrade your weapons and armor. And get out there and join the quest with your hunter friends. Your brand new life as a hunter is about to begin in Monster Hunter Wilds. That summarized the information on Monster Hunter Wilds. And now, we'd like to show you the newest trailer. Be sure to pay particular attention to the end of this trailer. I was still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. It's burned into my mind. So, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? The Guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. Oh, this forest is amazing. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. It's causing the water currents to surge too. This is its territory. We're in trouble.
Wraith. It's real! Is that what we're after? The White Wraith. Down there. Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An extinct species. You're a hunter. You've got a weapon, and you do nothing. After a very long absence, Yian Kuku is back with a vengeance in Monster Hunter Wilds. Series veterans may remember it as a tutorial monster, helping new players learn the basics of hunting. We hope you'll look forward to seeing just when and how it will show up this time around. Now, without further ado, let's dive into what we saw in our newest promotional trailer. This trailer marks the world's first look at the new monster, Arkville. It will be featured on the game's cover as the flagship monster. Known to hunters as the White Wraith, it will be the subject of your expedition to the Forbidden Lands. Arkveld, with its chain-like appendages, was long thought to have been extinct, and its ecology remains shrouded in mystery. Expect more information on this monster soon. Chemitrice are brute wyverns found in the Windward Plains. They spread a flammable substance and ignite it by dragging their tails along the ground. They're often seen fighting other, smaller monsters over carrion. True to its name, the Scarlet Forest and its red-tinged waters are teeming with lush flora, diverse fauna, and monsters both large and small. This diverse biome is adjacent to the Windward Plains. Traveling between areas will not require any loading screens. Meet the Wudwuds, denizens of the forest. These lineans live among the great biodiversity that can be seen in the Scarlet Forest. Find them and see how they've adapted to the environment. Monster Hunter Wilds features dynamic weather in its various locales. Torrential downpours, common in the Scarlet Forest, dramatically alter the area's ecology. You can make use of these environmental changes to gain the upper hand as you hunt. But beware, the area's apex predator, Uthduna, will appear during these heavy rains. A leviathan, Uthduna makes use of moisture and its own bodily fluids to create a protective veil around itself. It moves with great speed despite its massive frame. The apex predators of each area have adapted to their habitats in many such ways. You'll need to understand both the monsters and the environments they inhabit in order to survive. This is just a small preview of the new monsters and locales that you'll encounter in Monster Hunter Wilds. Stay tuned for more information coming soon. Here is the product information. Monster Hunter Wilds releases on February 28, 2025. 
It will have a same-day worldwide release on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam. In addition to the standard edition of Monster Hunter Wilds, a deluxe edition, including the main game and additional DLC, will be available digitally on the same day. Furthermore, the Premium Deluxe Edition, which includes the main game and three DLC sets planned for future release, will also be available digitally. Premium bonuses are also included, so please check it out. The Guild Knight's set of Hunter-layered armor and Hope Charm Talisman will also be included as special bonuses. The Monster Hunter Wild's digital mini art book is included as a bonus for those who pre-order on the PlayStation Store. Be sure not to miss it. Once again, Monster Hunter Wilds launches worldwide simultaneously on February 28, 2025. Pre-orders have already begun, so please reserve your copy now. The Capcom booth at Tokyo Game Show 2024, going on now, is offering the first opportunity in Japan to play Monster Hunter Wilds. Available to play is the story trial which lets you experience the beginning of the story and the Doshagama hunt in which you can experience more of the action. At the Monster Hunter Wilds booth, a life-size figure of a sacred is also on display. So be sure to stop by. We plan to show Monster Hunter Wilds at other game events across the world. Please look forward to more info on Monster Hunter Wilds at a later date. Thank you very much. Now, let's take a look at some info for the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter, a collaboration with the worldwide guitar brand Fender. To mark this collaboration, the Rathalos Telecaster with the motif of the Fire Wyvern Rathalos will be sold worldwide. Also, the limited Rathalos Telecaster will be sold exclusively at Fender Flagship Tokyo and the official online shop. The body is adorned with three tones of red in the image of Rathalos, and the neck features eye-catching inlays. The limited edition features Rathalos claw marks on the pick guard and pickup cover. Guitar picks and pick cases inspired by item boxes will also be available for purchase. Sales for the model to be sold worldwide are planned to begin in March of 2025 at official Fender shops and regional official retailers of Fender products. Pre-orders will be available starting Friday, September 27th at Fender Flagship Tokyo in Harajuku. This is a limited production collaboration product, so don't miss your chance. For information on where to pre-order, as well as other details, please visit Fender's official website. Capcom is also considering including this collaboration in-game in Monster Hunter Wilds via the emote function. Please wait for more details at a later date. Next up, we have news about a collaboration with the popular robot toy series, Transformers. Check out this brand new trailer.
the first collaboration with Transformers, which celebrates its 40th anniversary this year. Tomy will release the collaboration product Rathalos Prime. Rathalos Prime transforms from a Rathalos into a robot mode designed after Optimus Prime, the main character from Transformers. The monster mode faithfully reproduces Rathalos and is able to recreate poses from the game. Pre-orders start on September 27th with a planned summer 2025 release. This miraculous collaboration celebrates milestones for both series. That's all for the 20th anniversary of Monster Hunter. But please take a look at this. Monster Hunter Bridge. Now, the latest news from Capcom. First of all, we would like to introduce the digital sale, offering popular titles at affordable prices. Celebrating Tokyo Game Show 2024, we have discounts on Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Alongside Monster Hunter stories on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Steam, on sale for the first time. In addition to Dragon's Dogma 2, we also have Street Fighter 6, with Year 2 content available now, and other Capcom games on sale for a limited time. Please check it out. And now, an announcement from the Ace Attorney series. On the date shown, a product introduction trailer is planned for release. Whether you're already a fan of the Ace Attorney series or have yet to play it, this introduction trailer will give you the lowdown on the Ace Attorney series. Please look forward to it. We're excited to kick off another season of Street Fighter League, the official team tournament for the latest title in the series, Street Fighter VI. This season, Street Fighter League Japan welcomes new teams Crazy Raccoon, Fukushima Ibushigin, and Yogi Ball Reject. A total of 12 teams will compete in Street Fighter League Japan. Street Fighter League US and Europe return later this year, each with six teams. And don't miss the Street Fighter League World Championship at Capcom Cup 11. Champions from each region will clash to crown the ultimate champion. Capcom Pro Tour 2024 continues as an intense 1v1 tournament series. Players qualifying through offline or World Warrior regional tournaments compete at Capcom Cup 11. This epic showdown will be at Yogoku Kokugikan Sumo Arena, birthplace of SF Esports, with a grand prize of $1 million. Players from all over the world, both professional and amateur, can still participate. For tournament details, please check the official Capcom Esports channels. This is all the information we have for today. I would like to end by showing videos of our featured titles and say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Come on, get ready. Time for a 
Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days. What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Those ain't zombies. What would you call them? 